Hello, Corner of the Galaxy friends. We're back watching the LA Galaxy as they host Hello, Sporting KC on this partly cloudy and somewhat chilly night at Dignity Hill Sports Park. I'm Josh Kessman. He's Eric the Portuguese Hammer Vieira, and let's get into Week 5 in Major League Soccer. Eric, uh, what are you expecting from this Western Conference matchup? Well, last week we saw the LA Galaxy get their first win of the season against Orlando City uh, F Soccer Club, excuse me, SC, and uh, we saw Chicharito finally get on the score sheet. So we're looking to see Chicharito continue his hot streak, hopefully get a, a ring of goals put together. And we also want to see Christian Pavone evolve a little bit more in the attack. He had a little bit of a quiet game last week. Even though the Galaxy did walk away with a win, I would like to see Christian Pavone get more involved in today's match. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Uh, the LA Galaxy looks like returning a starting lineup. Same starting lineup from last week, but this does mean that something Guillermo Barros Galoto has actually put in here is it looks like Nick DePew has actually taken that starting spot at center back. Otherwise, everything's unchanged with Chicharito up top and David Bingham at the back. Uh, Christian Pavone obviously wanted to watch along with uh, Jonathan Dos Santos there in the midfield. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's Nick DePew's starting role now. It's his to lose. He's shown that he's a capable defender. Looked well in the opening set of games here. So it's unfortunate for Daniel Stairs, but we'll see if Nick DePew can keep his uh, run of form alive right now. And uh, on the other side, Sporting Kansas City has some dangerous pieces. Uh, I'd certainly highlight Tim Milia, a goalkeeper. Um, and then you're also looking at Alan Polito, uh, Roger Espinosa, and Johnny Russell, all great uh, guys to keep an eye on as they line up in a 4-3-3. So a little bit of a 4-5-1 versus a 4-3-3, although uh, those lineups tend to mesh into each other pretty well. Uh, we'll see how the LA Galaxy fare on their side of things. And again, that's Scottish Messi, Johnny Russell. He's been a galaxy killer in the past. He's going to be one to watch in this game. Uh, one little side note before this game kicks off on the subs bench for the LA Galaxy, Danilo Acosta, which is amazing because it seems like he's recovered from ACL surgery in record time. It's a miracle. It's a miracle, absolutely. I don't know if we'll see him in this match, but he is on the bench as the game kicks off and we are underway from Dignity Health Sports Park. Was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, just couldn't keep himself you know, in my side. mind, uh, one of the things that's important for the LA Galaxy is to get all of the offense involved, but this is not the way you want to start. Um, you know, uh, Alexander Katai has been uh, much sort of uh, maligned so far this season. Eric, for one, not lasting very long into games, although I think it, what he w went full 90 minutes last week. Um, and then two is being caught offside continuously. Uh, so it's, this game starts pretty much the way that you'd expect it to start. Although I will say it is something that you like to see. You want to see your, your wingers aggressive. You want to see them moving forward. So if it's not going to cost him, it's still early in the game. He'll make those adjustments later. You do like to see the aggression from the tie early. Big, almost. Uh, I was going to say, almost gets in there. And a good run by Katai. That's what happens whenever you talk bad about him. Uh, he plays well. Um, a good pass, a good cross. All those things were good buildups. And again, we've talked about the LA Galaxy and their ability to cross the ball on the ground and how that's so much more successful than when they cross the ball in the air. So a little bit of a bright, spark, uh, a bright start so far in the first eight minutes by the LA Galaxy, uh, controlling a lot of the ball and controlling that midfield. Yeah, again, and like you said, a uh, bit of the broadcaster's curse there. The second you start criticizing Katai is when he starts to set it ablaze. Other thing I wanted to mention is the camera work today is uh, much improved. I know the game was on Spectrum Sportsnet last week, so it's nice to see the game picked up by ESPN. A little bit better camera crew this week. Yeah, that's right. Top-notch crew uh, over there at ESPN, always. And this is something you're starting to see a lot more of the LA Galaxy wingers cutting inside and combining with those midfielders and Chicharito. Uh, something that I think would really benefit the LA Galaxy more if they could continue to play that way. Yeah, the build-up through the middle is where they're going to be successful. Again, the link-up play between Dos Santos, Lejet, and Kleschen and having them feed uh, Chicharito. That's going to be where the Galaxy are successful. Oh, and no. a great pass by Ooh. Alan Polito. Finds, uh, finds Gutierrez all alone there uh, inside of Rolf Felcher. So a late run from Gutierrez in the midfield. Uh, finding Rolf Felcher sort of outside and not covering anybody, but a big save by David Bingham. That was a great reflex save by David Bingham coming up big when he, he was called upon. A uh, corner kick coming up now for Sporting Kansas City, uh, something the LA Galaxy have had a fair amount of success defending. Into the center of the box. Has he got a score? Ooh, another, another save by Bingham. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, so two saves already for Bingham. I, I wouldn't say uh, troubling for the LA Galaxy, but it certainly seems like Sporting Kansas City getting the first shots here on goal. 
Yeah, the Galaxy started the first 15 minutes with possession and dominating the game, and it seems like the game has flipped a little bit in Sporting KC's favor. Galaxy just clearing out of trouble there. Don't mind resetting the lines whenever they need to, uh, but uh, the momentum shifting here a little bit in Sporting's direction. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if GBS can make any adjustments here in the first 20 minutes to sort of uh, bring that back under control. Want it back. And a good stop there from uh, Insua as well. It's a nice build up out of the back here. Into Santos. Yeah, Jonathan Dos Santos drifting a little bit more wide in uh, in sort of what is a three-man midfield, uh, a three-man center midfield. Oh, what a piece of skill by Pavone there. Oh, off the post. Oof. Oh, man. Oh, that was it. That, that was that was uh, that was a good chance there. That was uh, that was all perfection. That was 99% perfection. It's kind of like whenever you get your uh, your 10 piece chicken nugget, you get an extra chicken nugget in it, but then you forget to ask for the sweet and sour sauce. You got everything almost perfect, 99.9%, .9 but clank right off the bar. Wow, you just proved why people come to cornerofthegalaxy.com for for their information. What a great analogy. <laughs> I love my chicken nuggets and I miss them. <laughs> so the bonus chicken nugget is underrated. It, it absolutely, or when the two stick together and they count them as one, right? Oof. I mean, come on. What's your time. preferred shape? Do you, <laughs> do you prefer the horseshoe or do you prefer the, the egg? I, I think I'm, I'm, aren't I a boot? I think I'm a boot guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a boot guy. Yeah, yeah. sorry, okay. I said horseshoe, I meant boot. Yeah, okay, but still. Good. Yeah, but still, same thing, I'm sure. All right, Galaxy uh, back, passing through the center again. Uh, it's really been the development over the last couple of games to see this part of their game grow, and, and you have to point back to Jonathan Dos Santos' inclusion in all of this. A nice build-up play. What, what, was that a toe poke? That looked like a toe poke. <laughs> again, not mad. You know, Chicharito's got to take those shots when he can. Uh, unfortunately, he just didn't have a lot behind it. It was a toe poke. <laughs> Like I said, he didn't have a lot behind him. Oh, nice build up. Oh, that was, see, that is a great shot. That's exactly what you want to see. You see the combination of Leggett and Pavone and the passing and the quick passing and just opening up those lanes uh, on the inside. A great left footed snapshot, a great save by Tim Melia as well. I was going to say, Tim Melia is standing on his head right now. Again, they're peppering the, the goal with Pavone and Chicharito. So we'll see if the Galaxy can come away with something to show for it. Corner kick now for the LA Galaxy. All right, he's able to get ahead on it. Can't be too upset. Chitrito upset with himself, but again, nice opportunity there. Did anybody else feel freaked out by the fact that the LA Galaxy were flipped whenever they started this, going from left to right instead of right to left, as is normally the case? Yeah, it is a little disorienting, but, you know, it's, it's always nice to mix, mix things up every once in a while. That's right. We'll say the jerseys do look good, so that's just a reminder to head to cornerofthegalaxy.com to check out the primary jersey review. Oh, good yeah. plug. Yeah, good got plug. a plug here. Nice segue. Yeah, counter plug right here. Good sliding tackle Over there. The Pavone running a little bit out of space. You know, you, we talked about the last game against Orlando City and how Pavone was a little bit quieter. Uh, this game, he seems to be a lot more involved so far. Yeah, it's, it's exactly well, what you want to see from uh, from one of your designated really players, getting involved the in the offense, this making, the uh, you know, darting runs along the wing, know. really making the Hoping defense earn it. With his dominance. Now he must favor the cross. Pavon, Hernandez. Uh, Chicharito going for the peck pass there. I was yeah. going to say, the, the old uh, pectoral shot from the top of the 18. You don't see that very often, but I like the confidence that he's working with. You know, I, I say leave that to the to the real peck king on the LA Galaxy, uh, Rolf Felcher. All right? That, that dude has pecs for days. That's true. If someone's going to score with their peck, it's going to be Rolf. Oh, another hopeful ball uh, in there from uh, Pavone. Again, the LA Galaxy exploiting that left-hand side right now, that Sanchez. right side of the uh, Sporting Kansas City defense under considerable fire, and Sporting ball, Kansas City cannot ball. break the pressure. And still moving Pavone. forward. Oh, there it is. Oh, Chicharito there it is. Mendes gets the nice second pass goal in two games. This uh, is exactly what we wanted. Yeah, we wanted Chicharito to get on a little bit of a hot streak. You know, unfortunately, in his first few games, couldn't find the back of the net. But if he starts scoring goals, he'll score, score goals in bunches. I'd love to see it. Yeah, uh, Pavone to uh, to Legette, Legette back to uh, to Chicharito, all of these things back and forth. But uh, if you notice the run by Jonathan Dos Santos getting into that offensive zone, 
pulling people away from the spot where uh, Chicharito Javier Hernandez gets that uh, that strike. Uh, a great right-footed strike this time. So it's one nothing LA Galaxy. Certainly, uh, I think from all the pressure, Eric, you'd have to expect it. But at the same time, uh, it was uh, it looked a little sketchy there in the first 20 minutes. Uh, now the LA Galaxy seem fully in control. Yeah, five minutes before the end of the half, that's the right time to score. Pass. Really uh, keep Sporting Casey out of it. And you're absolutely right. Legit will get the credit for the assist and Chicharito with the goal. But that really all started with Jonathan Dos Santos genuinely thought they might cash in on that occasion but haven't been able to do so and it's with sanchez they've regained possession oh great clearance by rolf voice of an angel the head of a bull three additional minutes <laughs> Is that what it is? Uh, three minutes of added time for, for once again, inexplicable reasons. But Ken, hey, no subs, no injuries, but, you know, three more minutes. Baldemiro Toledo really having a, have a rough day today. It's, 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 a, uh, it's a free it's free three minutes of soccer. Nobody should be complaining at this point. Uh, Sporting Kansas City, though, definitely putting on the pressure here in those added time. But the whistle blows while they're in the attacking zone. I'm not sure uh, SKC is going to be super happy about that. Yeah, Nick DePew did break it up, so it didn't seem like they were going to get anything going after that. Well done by Toledo to call the half right there. Uh, LA Galaxy 1-0 leaders here at the first 45 minutes. Javier Chicharito Hernandez gets his second goal in two games. Uh, LA Galaxy leading right now over Sporting Kansas City. And uh, certainly I think it was a bright start there, Eric. Uh, but if you go back and we watch some of these highlights, certainly Orlando City. City had the or Orlando City that was last week different game uh, certainly Sporting Kansas seasons. City there's yeah it's too many you know what it's too many games it's, it's, that's the way it goes uh, it certainly it looked like uh, Sporting Kansas City had the opening looks uh, a great shot from uh, Gutierrez that forced uh, a great save by David Bingham um, actually going back and away and against uh, the grain there for Bingham um, yeah, a little bit of a knuckle on that ball yeah and then they're going to show a highlight of Sasha Kleshin completely missing a header instead of the ball actually clanking off the post just moments before that. Uh, yeah, somebody I, a little I, drunk in the replay booth. Yeah, I think uh, I just noticed with the excellent camera work from ESPN here, I think Sasha Kleshin, uh, you know, his mustache flew off with that header. It's no longer no longer visible. No longer. Well, we'll have to talk to him about that, see if his mustache stays. Uh, this was, up until the goal, the best shot for the LA Galaxy. Chicharito with the left-footed clanger. Uh, Tim Melia makes a great uh, right-handed save there as it comes up and over top. Uh, and then they're going to show the resulting corner kick from this where Chicharito basically blasts the ball into the tunnel. Yeah, unfortunately. It does look like Eminem is in the stands. Again, celebrities always, always available here at Dignity Health Sports Park. That's what happens. Not Home Depot Center? Are you sure? It's yeah, Dignity Health? Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay, good. Uh, and then the replay of the goal. The thing you have to like about this, though, is Chicharito basically not moving at the point of uh, when the ball was actually put to him. Uh, shifts his hips like Shakira on this one. Uh, the hips don't <laughs> lie, Eric, and that ball didn't lie. one nothing for the LA Galaxy. Well done. And again, if you look back at the stat sheet, five shots for Chicharito Hernandez compared to their opening game where they could only muster one shot on goal to have a half where Chicharito himself gets five shots, three of them on target. It's exactly what you want to see. Hopefully we see those hips move in the second half. Uh, we got uh, back underway here in the second half. LA Galaxy kicking the ball off, this time attacking towards uh, Victoria Block. So Victoria Block should be a busy end on this side. Uh, no changes for either side. Uh, LA Galaxy winning one nothing, trying to extend their win streak to two. Is it is it a win streak if it's only one? It's not, right? It has I mean, to be two to be a win streak. I think you have streak. to have at least two at minimum. Yeah. Okay, so try to get into a win streak here. Uh, it, it's interesting. The the LA Galaxy spent a lot of time. Oh, and that's a, that's a great pass. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be offside, but that's that's a great ball. I was gonna say the LA Galaxy spent the most of the first half, Eric, attacking on the ooh, left close. hand side. That's ooh, how many bullet times would that be off? That's a uh, one eighth Boateng. A oh, one eighth Boateng. Yeah, ra razor thin margins there. Yeah, I understand. Um, the Galaxy spent a lot of time attacking up the left hand side. Now it looks like, at least in the early moments, attacking up the right hand side with Alexander Katai as sort of that uh, guy there. What do you expect from the LA Galaxy here, though, Eric? I mean, you're up one nothing. You had a fairly good first half. Do you keep the pedal down? Do you try to score another goal, or are you trying to be a little bit more careful with your possession? Yeah, I looked to uh, something similar that they did last week is keep the pressure on. Uh, you have SKC on their heels, so continue to put the pressure and look for that second insurance goal to really put it away. little hopeful ball from Chicharito showing why he's uh, a poacher and not a provider. Oh, uh, a, a good follow-up shot there. Somebody certainly should be questioning Graham Zusi for trying to head the ball back into the box. 
Uh, not exactly something Bruce Arena taught at the national team level. Again, the Iron Man. Nice to see Graham Susie still still starting in MLS matches. Moving the ball nicely. Sporting Kansas City uh, gaining and growing into this game a little bit. Oh, another good shot. I think that was Espinosa uh, coming straight down the middle. Uh, David Bingham forced to make another save. I believe that's three or four saves on the night for Bingham. And the one thing that I will point out, the Galaxy are doing a great job of isolating Johnny Russell and Alan Polito, you know, for all the talk of uh, the talent that they have on that side. They've really kept them quiet for the majority of this match. Yeah, it was interesting. The LA Galaxy released the match poster that sort of showed, you know, Polito versus Chicharito. Uh, the battle of the two Mexican stars uh, in this case. Uh, but it's two so former far, Guadalajara players. Yeah. It, 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 but so far, it's been one-sided here as uh, Guillermo Barish Galoto goes to his bench for the first time. Again, a same, similar sub that we saw last game. Uh, Perry Kitchen coming in for uh, Sasha Kleshin. I thought Kleshin had a pretty good game. A little anonymous, but um, that's okay. I think the LA Galaxy provided a bunch of offense going forward. Yeah, I think uh, the training staff's going to look into getting that mustache repaired for the next game, so we'll see how he does. So it uh, looks like we wanted him to keep on the attack, but Scalotto looking to go a little bit more defensive, bringing on the defensive-minded midfielder to kind of be play destroyer and close this game out. SKC finding a little bit more joy here in the center of the field. Some good intricate passing, but it's uh, the big man, six foot five, Nick Depu Depu Depuy. I always want to say Depuy, and so I always have to adjust. Yes, I was going to say we have to change our game notes here. Yes, but again, he did well to break that up. Stop uh, SKC dead in their tracks. They were building up nicely there. Oh, there was a foul there. There was a huge foul there. It's times like that that you miss Slatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, you know, Chicharito, for all the things that he does bring, he doesn't really bring that physical prowess that would have bounced that defender That's off of him. I heard if the wind blows more than 15 a miles an hour, he it. falls over. It's probably true. Pavon. What kind of sauce do you think Chicharito has on his chicken nuggets? He, is he a barbecue sauce guy? Well, he, he seems like a sweet and sour guy to me. But if I'm a sweet and sour guy, do we really think that, that Chicharito <laughs> and I are the same? No, we don't. Uh, he could go off the board with a hot mustard. This is a, a great reminder as the uh, camera pans over the wave. Uh, don't do the wave ever. Just yes. FYI. Oof. What was that? It was something. Chicharito with the acrobatics. Nice breakup. Pavone really, uh, really wanting to get into this match now. He should be able to take on some people. A great cross. Timilia with quite a strong punch fist there. Yeah, it really makes you think without Timilia in goal, could the Galaxy be up two, possibly three goals? Probably not. <laughs> it's expert analysis. Thank you. There, you're welcome. Uh, Galaxy doing a, a good job now of keeping possession, passing around. Uh, you're just looking for the smart passes here. All the smart passes, and that was a great ball. Well, oh, ball falls down in the middle of the box. You thought the Galaxy might be able to convert there, but they didn't. Yeah, uh, chances. Play, play cleanup crew there, try to try to put it away. Chances, Eric, are coming. Uh, they're not uh, being converted right now, and that could burn the LA Galaxy. As People Gonzalez gets burned there on the outside. Oh, my. Ooh, just wide. My, oh, my, oh, my. Espinosa with the wide-open header. Nick DePew caught looking at Becky G in the stands. Sebastian Legette's going to have to have something to say about that. Let me tell you, right above Section 102, it can be distracting. And right there, Nick DePew lost his man. LA Galaxy uh, still leading this game 1-0. Uh, you know, all the positives that you've seen probably in the last, oh, almost 80 minutes, just 10 minutes remaining in this match are all great things. But without a victory here, uh, it certainly would be bad. And again, I think Sporting Kansas City is a much more difficult opponent. I think this would be a much bigger win for the LA Galaxy if they can get this one. Um, but it, you don't want to concede now. This is all the, the trappings of a, a late game collapse for the LA Galaxy. I was going to say, this is what you call squeaky bum time. And uh, If you missed it, during the goal kick, we had a, another substitution. Sebastian Leggett came off for Emilio Cuello, and then uh, for SKC. Uh, Gerso goes off for Daniel Chalouet. Chalouet? I, 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 can never, I, can never, I can never really say it correctly. And being he's on another team, do I really care? That's true. Yeah, Timothy maybe. Chalamet. I know how to say that. Great uh, uh, pick up there. Or great uh, interception there by Rolf Felcher. Uh, Galaxy doing a good job now of controlling and trying to hold possession here. 
Yeah, they're doing well passing the ball around. Looks like they're playing a video game out there. They really have a lot of control. It really seems that way. Uh, except for Jonathan Dos Santos, who apparently tried to go one-on-one -on -one through the center of the field. Uh, and now a quick break on the other way. The LA Galaxy in danger of forfeiting this one nothing lead. Plato going to the corner line like he's trying to preserve a lead. Got to go towards goal if you're SKC, even though I know we're not rooting for him. Kitchen uh, doing a good job there in the center of breaking things up, and then uh, just a clearance out of uh, out of the stands there. That one almost hit the press box. Again, can't be upset with people Gonzalez for that one. Just get rid of it, kill the clock. Let's finish this game off. There's about 15 seconds left for the LA Galaxy as they uh, they head here. Maybe just a, a couple minutes of added time, if I'm guessing, only seven minutes. That's that's what I would guess off the top, just because of Oof. the subs. Well, especially with the substitutions, you know, especially with Gotti, kinda, you know, you kinda don't like that sub right Yeah, oh, just two minutes. There's 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 no surprises. <laughs> Again, no rhyme, no reason. Baldo to, Baldomiro Toledo has really lost the plot when it's come to extra time here. That's a, it's the biggest probably storyline of this game. Absolutely. And that That's is it. it. Final whistle. LA Galaxy 1-0 winners over Sporting Kansas City. A, a bit of a snooze fest there. Thanks for keeping me awake in the second half. Uh, the LA Galaxy had some chances to convert, had some chances to get a second goal. They couldn't do it, but Sporting Kansas City blew the one big chance they had in the second half to tie this game up. Uh, so the LA Galaxy two wins in a row. Uh, now, uh, winners over Orlando City from uh, from two goals uh, to one, and now a one nothing victory over Sporting Kansas City at home at Dignity Health Sports Park. All the players, including those from Sporting Kansas City, currently walking over to a corner that has no gate. So uh, we'll watch if they get trapped in the corner there and can't walk off. But Eric, what'd you what what do you think of this game as we get through some of these highlights? I was going to say, other than the alternate entrances uh, installed at Dignity Health Sports Park, again, uh, no surprise, Javier Chicharito Hernandez wins man of the match. He was really made himself a th constant threat throughout the match. You love what you saw from uh, Christian Pavone making himself involved in the offense. And then, of course, uh, David Bingham. When he was called upon, he came up. Uh, again, when you only score one goal, you need your goalkeeper to step up, and he did exactly that today. And your article grading all of these uh, players will be up at what time, Eric? Uh, I, I believe, given uh, the circumstances around our league right now and, uh, you know, some possible sickness going around, we are, we're going to hold on the grades for right now. Uh, grading the Galaxy on hold, a little postponement, a moratorium, you might say. Uh, but the LA Galaxy doing great things. Again, there were some great early shots. I mean, the first half is really a perfect half for the LA Galaxy. The only thing that you'd probably want to change is Tim Milia and goal, making incredible saves over and over again, uh, really keeping the score down. This could have been possibly a 7-1 to one game or a 7-0 to nothing game. Uh, but with Tim Milia in there and with Chicharito Hernandez heading the ball into you know the, the other atmosphere on a couple occasions, really kept the score down to one nothing. Yeah, when you uh, think about Sporting Kansas City, last time they traveled to Dignity Health Sports Park, they lost 7-2. So a 1-0 loss is almost a moral victory in their eyes. It, it seems to be. Uh, there's the goal from Chicharito. A great goal again. Shaking those hips. Shake those hips. Uh, and puts the ball on the back of the net. A right-footed smacker. Uh, and then this is the big chance for uh, Sporting Kansas City. There's Espinosa, unmarked, yeah. basically in the box, and he puts it a good mm, two-thirds Boateng wide. Yeah, that's a great, great measurement. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, about two-thirds of a Boateng wide. So happy to see the LA Galaxy get in the win column. I've said it once, said it before. You don't want to peak too soon, but uh, it's never a bad time to string together two wins. No, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, we'll go over some final stats here for the LA Galaxy. Ten shots. Uh, to four shots for Sporting Kansas City, five shots to uh, three on target, 51% of the possession. You would think it would be more. Um, everything there looking pretty good for the LA Galaxy. Pass accuracy just a little bit better there as we look at some of the substitutions as well. So the LA Galaxy, Eric, get a one nothing victory over Sporting Kansas City. We're glad everybody could join us, and we hope that you'll join us again as the LA Galaxy get back into match action right here on Corner of the Galaxy TV. For Eric the Portuguese Hammer Vieira, I'm Josh Guessman, and you've been watching Corner of the Galaxy TV and coverage of the LA Galaxy versus Sporting KC.